It's the very latest in technology and these high school students are at the forefront of its innovation. Okay, so you just put the goggles on and it's like virtual reality. You can walk around, you can tilt your head to move and the controller to move around and jump. To us, on the screen, it all looks 2D, but Lachlan feels like he's actually in the game. At St Columba, they're not just playing, but building. Four of the kids developed this first-person game from scratch. It's a futuristic FPS and you can like run around, do wall jumps and stuff. Um, its name's Shadow of Earth. And for Iron Man fans, this type of technology is not far away either. So they're your hands up there? Yeah, so do you want to have some? Yeah, I'll have a go. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, basically it's called the leap motion and it senses all of your hands and it senses what you're doing with your hands. So yeah. what would happen if we all put our hands in here? Um, it would, we could try it. Okay, let's okay, try so it. Let's, let's see. Yes. Yeah. Four. four. We've got four hands in. The maker's room also boasts the best in 3D technology. So first what I do is I put this little robot thing down on here and then I just press start scan and then you just start scanning from there. Once it's been scanned, the 3D printer can start printing the object. This is a um, thing we printed earlier. It's a stormtrooper with a hole in the middle so you can put pencils in it. The kids even make their own game controllers. The electricity is coming out of here through your body and coming back through these cables into this makey makey. Yeah. And then you use this piece of paper here to control the computer. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And have free reign on hard drives and operating systems. We, first of all, we ripped it apart. Now we're rebuilding it. What do you guys think? Do you need this? It, will this computer work when you finish pulling it apart? Hopefully. And it's all in the name of hands-on learning. Not many people know how their phones work or how their computers work, but we use them every day. So what we wanted to create up here was a place for kids to learn how things work and create the next generation of innovators. Samantha Crow, Prime 7 News.